<laughs> You're dead. What it do? What it do, guys? Today we got a GBG and it's gonna thunderstorm. I'm pretty sure I said it like this whole entire week because <laughs> it keep raining. You know what they say? April showers bring May flowers. We're gonna be playing with Tayu and try the twins again. You know, Wonder Twin Power activate. My girl Pernilla's gonna transform in the shape of a bucket of water. <laughs> She's on a 200 speed rage set because she was really fun in PvE and we gave her more debuffs, which is Cradle of Life, since she's all single target. Her S1 minus the speed of the target, which is honestly good. And then with Cradle of Life as a single target, it'll put another, you know, decrease attack, hit chance, burn, or bleeding, which is honestly great. And then we went with a turn two rag. Rag, rag, bald. Actually, I like both their design. I like, I like their whole kit. I wanted it to be like full DPS, but I didn't have the DPS gear, so he's gonna stay on the counter, the counter effect res piece. And if he's with his sister, they both get 100 effect, effectiveness and effect res, regardless if they both die. So he has 200 effect res because he has 100 effect res right now so he has 200 factories with his in battle with sister and 100 effectiveness so he should be able to land his debuffs we made him slow so she can be faster she gives speed buff to him and and her and then she constantly keep you know s1 and, and hopefully he does the thing like i said I, I need i need a better rage set but they're fun in pve in all honesty the expeditions but today we're gonna be playing with Tayu because he finally got an ee the pyrokinesis and we're gonna be playing with all three just because you can't craft it yet. And I happen to, I imagine happen to pull all of them. And the funny, the funny thing is, the one I got the most was the S1, which just increased the combat rating this by an extra five percent when he uses S1. His S2, you know, increased the combat rating by fifteen percent when he uses a non-attack, so it was pretty good even without his artifact. And his S3 reduced the cooldown of everybody except for the highest attack target by one turn. So instead of hitting the person, let's say like. Captain Landy, which does absolutely nothing if she's the highest attack and are all like stuff like that, Layla, stuff like that. You just reduce her cooldown by, t you ignore her, but reduce everybody by one. So even though Layla still get minus one, but still, it's nice. So we're gonna try all three of these and see what Tayu can do. So let's get that GVG and see how well we do with Tayu. All right, game number one. We got the twins and then we got Nini because I don't know who to bring in this situation because I'm pretty sure Prindle's gonna die because he's only dark unit. And I don't know if Aiden hits the fastest dark unit or the one with the lowest like max HP because I brought DDR, he's still like 190 and she's still faster than him. So <laughs> I was like, mm. So we're gonna bring Nini to pop their berries and then push back. Hopefully we connect, we probably won't. Actually, we're gonna, <laughs> <sighs> okay, Water Twin Power Activate. <laughs> and then bottom, we got Elena, Tamaluka, and we got Tayu. Because we're using an E right now with that increased the counter rating by 50% after enemies are non effects. So because of that, we are going to switch to his, his own artifact, in all honesty. So we get an extra 10%, so we get an extra 25%. What's well, somebody use a non-attack skill? And we're at 220, 230 speed technically. We don't have 100% crit chance. We, let's change that real quick. And we're not going to be using eight, eight, eight times soon right now. So we're going to be switching to Aiden boots just for this one. So we have 100% crit chance. <laughs> so there we go. So that's what we're using with Tay. His own artifact and the combat ready. So let's see how far he get the, he pushes up in this single turn. I hope he don't get pushed back. Get rid of them. So we'll shoot her. This Aiden is practically slow. Or maybe we're just fast, I don't know. So, boom. Elvis on the first turn. No salvo, please. Okay. That's, that's. What a pain. <laughs> I, I, I can't disagree. We could S1 a dual attack with Zavald, Ragvald. Or we could S3. I believe in the S1. I'm here. We both miss, and we got a salvo in the counter. Alright, so we probably did nothing that turn, in all honesty. <laughs> I didn't expect that was how to go, but anyway. It's about Tayu. I want to S2 to give us an attack buff. I just realized that. We're faster. 
God damn it. <laughs> she was close to. If we S3, we'd be putting a stealth and she won't be able to provoke. And I think she'll provoke Tayu. Let's try to get rid of. Let's try to get rid of them. We connected also. Okay. Okay. This ain't this this isn't good for us to use our S3 right off the rip. Cause we minus two her she get the S1. This is working out way better than I Okay, we're gonna bring somebody slower. Okay, they're gonna have a lot of non-attack skills. Okay, we're taking them. Alright, we'll just see how far he pushes up. That's nice. <laughs> and he gets pushback, so. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be that fast, but. Mm -mm. We need to find a tower more non attack skills, in all honesty. Well, that's always nice, but we'll take we'll, we'll take this build in the G RTA real quick. Because they have a lot of non attacks going around them right now. <laughs> All right, game number two. We got Abby, we got Tayu. And it's time for his EE instead of the combat rating list. We are going to switch it up to the S1 because it's an AOL. It's an AOL, and she pretty much silence us. So, additional 5% combat rating list for the S1. And we don't, I don't want to use the highest attack because one. Choose the highest attack and it won't really matter for AOL, AOL and LRK. So we're going to use this. Not exchange. And I will pretty much go back to the Ed artifact just because if we're going to be S1, it might as well be, you know, get that speed buff going, right? How much combat rates did this give? 20%? Did this? Oh, it was 15%. It did give it extra. That's not bad in all honesty. Especially if we get our enrage. How about that? At the bottom lane, we got Dillabit, Carrot, and Bihu. Dillabit, everybody keep wondering. She is on a revenge set, so the lower she get and the else fit, so the lower she gets, the more damage and speed she, she gets, so. She's at pretty much 171 speed. I should probably take this up and put, like, defense or HP boots. In all honesty, she gets really fast when she gets, like, 5% HP if she survives at Aiden, but she's there for Aiden. If Aiden's fast enough, we'll slap my Aiden or something like that. And that LRK does have adamant shield, I saw that. So Tay's gonna just strip this off. She has 250 effect effect rest, so that means she, she she's she's built the last. But anyway. We're not gonna ask eh, the increased speed will be honestly amazing. And it's best to use it now, considering that one, <laughs> he doesn't, he didn't bike yet, and two, why not? He has the highest attack. Hmm. We need to get rid of Shu before she accidentally kill us all. <laughs> so this is gonna hurt. We got Abigail, so Shu he hit into Abigail. Okay, I'm gonna kill Shu now. She has anti crap. Pretty sure we're gonna miss all of this. Maybe she won't counterattack. Okay, good. And look at that camera written this though. What is trigger crowd special shield or no? Cause it's, well, it's not it's AoE, but it's not damage damage, right? What's the matter? Okay, he has four more turns. All right, we'll do this. Just to split the damage between <laughs> her and LRK. So we'll do this. They get some extra heals. And then we're so bird because it's going to hit like a truck. Boom, boom. A split damage gonna hit like a truck, and Tayu just pop it off right now. <laughs> I actually did not expect that he just this splat. I thought he was gonna take. I thought he was gonna have a little bit more. 
I thought I was gonna hit. Okay, never mind. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I thought I was gonna have be be able to hit him a little bit more than that. I didn't think the curse would actually you know splat him like that. Anyway, go to S3, put a burn on them, and put on buffable because they can't strip it off or they can't cleanse it off. Also for this, so it's gonna put a debuff on us, and hopefully, Dillabet should be fine. Very okay, good. I'm not going to we'll take the minus attack. I was hoping I would be faster. I hope the camera would have been faster. I was like, maybe? Nah. But it's still unbuffable. She survived that. We'll take this just because, one, I want to counterattack the land of burn from Karen also. Which will detonate from her burn for being touched. And then, I thought she was silent. Okay, I'm done. Wrong target, wrong person. But anyway, we're gonna give him the, the fire burn, because Carrot is a really good unit. I don't know why... I don't know why... I don't, I, why don't people stop playing with Carrot? Was it, was it specifically hand guy that got in the way? It seemed like with everything with anti-crit, it seemed like... Carrot would be the go-to. This is it. Just sitting there. Let me get rid of Sinya. And then she can just burn slowly. God, Karen is such a good, fun unit. Hope you guys ignore the vacuum above my vacuum neighbors. They clean it. But, same with Sea Lilies. They're done. <laughs> Constant research and study, guys. Remember that. All right. All right. Game number three. We're going to bring Violet because I haven't seen him in quite some time. So he has his own Violet talisman for some invasion just because I have no use for it. But he's also pretty squishy with like four counter attack. But mm, let's hope for the back. We brought Fat Cat to try to dodge. And we brung Seaside Bologna. I finally retire her from Wavering One Shot. Because I found a, a, a replacement for Waver in one shot, which is uh, Clarissa. Because after they, after she kills somebody with her S3, she uh, reset, reset it when enraged and stuff like that. So it makes the debuffing Wavering a little bit more easy besides waiting for the focus. Also, I put Briggs there because I forgot how good Briggs is in a Wavering. The slow in the defense break is also good, so. So yeah, Seaside Bologna is finally retired from Wavering 13. <laughs> I can actually steal her gear, and she just has increased damage for you're not cute. I don't think I have any more I do. Nope, it's just higher. What's this? Increased this. Mm. Won't this be a, a three turn cooldown? But she's not that fast, and this spell. Hmm. I don't know, maybe we could probably use it in PB RTA. And she's 99 crit chats. <laughs> and about it, we got Tayu. With his own artifact again, but this time we reduced the cooldown on everybody else except for Tayu. Because why not? Because the high I'm pretty sure the highest attack would be Candy, and these two will get the minus one. And we brung What's her face? Just to hopefully be faster than Seed Lilius. So we can stun her and we don't get provoked. I'll protect you. Oh yeah. I thought this was somebody else. I thought this was Amelia. I wasn't looking at the picture. I thought it was, I didn't know it was a mid. Well, hopefully, Fat Cat survived this or dodge or survived this or both. Okay, good. Hopefully, dodge. Hope Violet dodged this and survived. He got crit. That's not good. Here's the thing. I want to get rid of this. So, Fat Cat, I'm going to need you to boom, take the hit for us. Okay, Seaside Bologna got off a got off a waiver duty. <laughs> it's, it's the last one to survive. <laughs> Violet got hit. <laughs> okay, so we're not faster than she's faster than 300 speed. She's quick as AF. So Tayo will be up there, but would she get provoked? Okay, good. So boop boop. 
Elvis on the first hit. Beautiful. Garden Secret. Oh, Salva also. Oh, Ray was there. Which is nice. So there's no point of minus one-ing C. Lilith if you were to her turn. But we get minus one. Oh, she's also silenced also. We'll do this for the increased speed, even though we shouldn't, but we should. We're gonna do it anyway. What are S3, minus one C. Lilith and her. Counter. Please no salvo. Please miss. Okay, I can't deal with candy. So apparently they counter every hit in GBG. Splash. Okay, she didn't counter that one time. Or actually wanted to counter. Okay, Rocket Punch is gonna be OP with Albedo. Or Albedo with our own artifacts gonna be OP. Let's get an RTA. <laughs> All right, we gotta hope that they use some sort of non, they got rid of stuns. We gotta hope that they use some kind of, we wanna bring Jenna with. Like, use non-attacking skills for this to work. I don't think they're gonna be using non-attacking skills for this to work. <laughs> I protect, that's what I do. Okay, so specific. All right, I don't, let's get rid of this. Get rid of ML Quinn. Hmm. Okay, so there's barely no, there's no non-attack skills on that team. I got one, that's her S2, but other than that. So Tay's probably gonna get sent back because he's the fastest one that they don't want to deal with him. But he's right there, so he can't really do much to him, so. So we're gonna just, Oops. oh no. Uh, we're gonna slap her to see. Let's get started. I never would have S3 to see we got Silence, Defense Break, and Abyssal Crown. Karina. We got the Silence, so that's good. Nice Defensal Breako. What an S3 to see we can just get rid of her. And generate more souls. Got the Elvers, which is honestly nice because this will activate. And she still can't S3. But we got a non-attack skill, which I wonder for Tayu. Now that I'm all warmed up. Now that I'm all warmed up. Let's do this for real. Let's do this for real. Two rage. I got the two rage you just <laughs> Bro man is just sitting there chilling. <laughs> we could strip this off, but Oh we have minus attack. I didn't see that. Oh no. So we're gonna kill her. If she comes back, we can get rid of her. Teach me. No, she's not coming back. We wanna see if we get the seventy percent chance. And victory is mine. Mm -mm -mm. We got the abyssal crown. You trying to start something? Juicy. Bop bop. Get rid of him. And then Genoa would be the disaster. Well, that worked out. <laughs> But I hate it that they didn't bring any non attack skills. Alright, alright, we'll end it on that. Because apparently, nobody, if I bring Tayu, nobody's bring any non attack skills, apparently. I, everybody, ML. ML Politis is missing for some reason. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this GVG. It was a short one. I do like the E on Tayu, the one I probably will use, even if they. Well, what's the word? When they decide to allow you to craft it, it's probably the probably the combat readiness and his own artifact because I didn't know who to give this to. But the increased attack is actually nice. But the thing is that he becomes too fast, right? Well, I, I don't have many openers, but he's at two. I probably should turn. Can I turn these? To, let me look. Let me let me look at real quick. <laughs> if I take boosts like these, he becomes. 186 without the 40% movement speed. I'm actually curious, how long this video will be going for? Like almost an hour. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do one game without his speed boost. So he's 186. How far would he get? How far would he push up if he survives? All right, we'll do one quick game with this. Cause I'll probably go with this. And it will just be a brief match. I'll just go to the, to the, the band phase. 
What? They banned Ammo Politis, what I would just come- They banned the two not attack eh? Here's the thing, I'm gonna first pick Tayu. I said I'm gonna skip to the bad face, so... There you go. This is what we went with. Tayu's there and whatnot. Ammo Kid is just there to be a distraction so they don't touch Tayu. But Tayu is probably the slowest one on this team. Who do you think is gonna get stunned? Her, I don't really care if she dies. It's just, this is one quick game to test out uh, Tayu, so I'm not too worried about it. Look at Tayu back in Spence, decided to S2 and then stun Tayu. Okay, Look how far Tayu's back. He's way back there. The so, boop. Damn. He's probably going to get sent back over there in uh, Solitaria, but still, even if we have our S1, we should be honestly fine. So I'm going to S1 her, boop, boop, just to get rid of her. You can't stop me. I'm going to S1 her. Moonlight Dreamblade, alright. That uh, buffable okay. is nice. Get a load of these guys. They're trying to get rid of her, which I'm honestly fine. She was there for a distraction anyway, but I might keep him on attack boost in all honesty. Attack boosts don't seem like a bad, bad thing to have on. How pathetic. I don't think I'm gonna S3 just yet. If we do get stunned, we get our crown of glory counterattack. Tayu's. Aren't you afraid to die? What would this bop bop? Yo, Tayu's popping off right now. I might keep him on attack boots. <laughs> I actually might keep him on attack boots. If somebody uses a non-attack skill, he's gonna be flying. Focus. She'll go on the stealth, so we're gonna do this. I'm not trying to practice wild dog cup. Actually, I should have. I forgot he still has an S3 and a North Fectris. I honestly forgot about that. That's actually my fault. Why we having rage? I might as well. I might have should. I should have did it. I'm gonna do this apart, wild dog. Excellent, excellent. Oh, away. Oh, and we're going to minus two. It doesn't really matter, even though he, he doesn't have his S3, but... And ignore effect res. If we get him to one HP, he'll strip off the immortality just like that. But Tayu might be dead. Might, might be. He's going to be dead. If he missed twice. Please miss twice. I like this game a lot better. Ah, it makes sense! <laughs> Go to S1 to do the additional damage. If we get a minus slow, that's honestly perfect. We got the stun. Leave it to me. Okay, we did get the random crit, which had like I'm surprised he crit in all honesty, but <laughs> we did get the random crit. It was like I could hit her, but the crit will kill him. I was like, let's try. <laughs> I was honestly good. I might honestly keep him on attack boost. I like attack boost Tayu with the combat readiness on this artifact, plus his EE for combat readiness. I, 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 I like it. I like it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your hunt event. I do have my gear ready for El Beto, which I'm probably going to show right now. So this is the set I'm going to be rocking with El Beto. If you guys want to look, it's the same with Yuha. They share the same stats pretty much. They actually share the same stats, but... This is a little bit going with Beto, 200 speed. I'm not make her super, super fast. Even though her ring and her neck both have 21 speed, but not many people could use this. In all honesty, eh, I could probably find someone with HP and put them on a speed set, but I'm not worried about speed. And we're gonna put her on her counter set just because when she auto attacks, she does additional damage. Might as well make her like Karita, where she just slaps somebody for 90% of your HP. And if I happen to get her, or, I'm gonna get an artifact because I have enough saved up. It should be enough, but yeah, this is the set I'm going for for Ed Beto. And Eyes is gonna be Revenge set, which is on Eaton somewhere. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys around. Have a lovely weekend.